Hey, hey, Geniverse and mining family. Grab your shovels and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis, and of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. And if you're into the crypto universe at all, and you haven't been living under a rock, you will have noticed that in the last few days, uh, like the last week, two weeks, the market has been dumping. I want to say back in, let's see here, on September 5th, uh, the market started just utterly dumping. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's just been kind of dumped, traded sideways for a little while. Um, and then as of uh, yesterday, right? Or no, on the 14th, uh, the market just started crashing bad. Uh, some people are calling for like a 4,000, you know, maybe a 3,000, $2,000 Bitcoin. If it gets there, I'm gonna accumulate as much Bitcoin as this guy could possibly muster up with whatever cash I've got. Um, if Bitcoin's gonna be worth something, it's gonna be because I didn't sell anything, of course. But I got home today and I bought some Bitcoin. Um, almost at the very bottom. I almost caught the bottom on this one. Uh, I did it once before, but it's only because you gotta be watching the market as it's doing it. Otherwise, you're never gonna see it. But if you can hit anywhere near the bottom buying in, you're doing good. I mean, even anywhere from in this in this point right here, where I've moved this green line right down, anywhere in this point, you would have been doing good. Uh, do I know if Bitcoin's gonna drop down any further? I have absolutely no clue. Um, the RSI is saying that it's in way oversold territory, which usually means that there's room for growth to come back up. Some people think it's gonna crash down a little bit further before it starts to try to do an attempt of a bull run. Um, it looks like for the next candle, um, I've got my candles on the day time frame. So as of the next day, which uh, depending on, I, I forget uh, if they're using uh, what time zone that they're using for the this charting. I'd have to almost look that up, but it looks like they've already started on the next day's candle and it looks like it's going a little positive. Um, it looks like even the RSI is starting to try to recover. Um, if for the RSI can hit into the 50, uh, the 50 point range, um, I think it will recover and just kind of trade sideways for a little while. Um, will it go back down? I have no idea. Um, that's This isn't my total technique, uh, what, what I'm really good with. I'm not good with, you know, guessing the market. I'll watch it and stuff. I, I mean, I know enough to be dangerous. <laughs> um, but even uh, the coins are like, uh, like this one here, um, Ethereum Classic. I mean, everybody has been taking a dump on the market. Um, but for me, that's not what I pay attention to. Um, I'm just considering that I'm a miner. This is all good and fine if you're a trader um, and you're wondering about how you're gonna turn your money back into cash or you're trying to short, uh, you know, trying to trade in a short position, you're gonna be paying attention to these charts. Now, I dollar cost average in two ways. One, um, I put a little bit of money into the market um, every week, uh, about a hundred bucks, you know, on a Friday maybe, sometimes less, sometimes more. Uh, depends on where my budget is, because again, this is dollar cost averaging. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. You just take what you have on Friday or whatever, you know, once a month, um, and you put into the market just a little bit, just way you got some skin in the game. Um, and then the other thing is, is because I'm a I'm a miner, and I like to support the network. I also ooh, get stuff like this. If my computer wasn't so glary with my light, I got an EVGA uh, 1000 watt uh, Gold Series power supply uh, to build up my next rig. And whenever I'm sitting here and looking at this stuff, I don't. I look at this as a coupon coming into the market. Everything's on sale right now. So that's a that, you know a nice positive way of looking at it. It's not that the, the market's really dumping, it's that I've got a coupon. This is a good thing. Well, as a miner, this is what I look at. 
the network difficulty. And uh, for like Ethereum Classic, um, this is all in terahashes. And since October, whenever the market started coming back down, so has the, the, the network difficulty. As the pricing comes down, um, some people start looking at the bottom dollar, which that's not where I'm sitting at. I'm looking at this right down here. So back in October, it was at 14. Let's see here. Let me let me expand this a little larger. Let's go after the peak. Now I caught this way back. I've been mining this for a little while. But I mined it through while it hit 17 terahash. And as the mar as the network difficulty has been coming back down, I've been earning more coin. I don't care that the coin's worth less. When the market rebounds, I'll be sitting pretty. All the people who mined through the downturn, whenever the market came back up, they were sitting real good. Um, so my long game is mining coins with network difficulty that are coming down and that's going to be across the board the, the as the price comes down people's electricity stays the same so you, the people are going to have to make a decision can they afford the electrical bill or are they going to continue mining um, for me i'm going to continue mining and i'm going to look for any network that has a significant drop in the network hash that would allow me to pull in more coin I mean, you could even look at Bitcoin. This is Bitcoins. I mean, since going all the way up, you know, till more recently, it plateaued as the market started dipping. And as the market started dumping again, the network difficulty has been dropping with it, which is the first time in a long time that Bitcoin's difficulty has actually been dropping consistently, which shows you that people are operating in a situation where the electricity is high and they're just not mining in enough. So they're forced to turn their rigs off and take the electricity that they would be normally spending and just buy coins with that instead. Um, if I were to have to turn off my rigs, I would take every dollar that I was spending on the electricity and dollar cost average that in every month. Uh, let, me, let me tell you, that's what I would be doing. Just because I might not be profitable enough doesn't mean that I'm not going to uh, be still investing into the market. But that's how I look at it. But right now, I am actually mining um, at a loss, uh, believe it or not. Um, I've actually, as of today, um, until the network difficulty drops down again, which it's been, I've been actually mining more coin since this network's difficulty has been coming down. So... Um, I'm figuring that the network difficulty dropping down a little bit more, and that will put me right back in the profitability zone. Um, I just hovered in where I'm at a break even point, so I'm actually, it's not costing me money to per se keep the rigs on, but I'm not making any money now. Uh, all the money's gone. <laughs> it's now just paying for itself, and well, I guess I can kind of say I'm still profiting because I've actually got my household's electric bill into it and the rigs are paying for my electric in my whole house, plus heating my house, plus mining coins. So, I mean, in the long game, I am profitable. I'm not spending anything on heat uh, and it's like 27 degrees outside and my heat furnace is off, has not been on. Uh, so. You know, it depends on what standpoint you're looking at and how you're, how you're viewing what you think is profitability. Um, I mean, even Monero has actually been dropping down in difficulty since October, um, which this one is mined on everything. Um, you might be mining it right now on your own PC. Uh, you just don't know. Uh, but even their network difficulty has been coming down. Now, some people use this as their go-to place, whattomine.com. Um, if I were to put in 22 GT 1070 Ti's uh, with a one, uh, one cent, uh, uh, a 10 cent kilowatt hour um, and hit calculate, it's gonna calculate what it's thinking is uh, according to your hash rate and the coin's value, what you're able to actually pull in. Now, remember, 
everybody gets to look at the same information, which also means that everybody else is going to be considering to be mining these same coins. Now, you can go ahead and try to chase your profitability um, going with this Sequoia coin, uh, Lux coin, or uh, Raven coin. And you could be trying to play with those and just know that everybody else is turning their rigs and pointing them at these three same algorithms because they want to see maximum profitability. For me, that is the wrong way to really look at it. The way that I look at it is I look at the fundamental of the company. Is it a sound company? If I answer yes and I believe in the company, then I'm going to mine, the co mine on that coin, especially if I see the network difficulty drop. Just like Ethereum Classic, just like Bitcoin, just like Monero, uh, all the networks as their profitability drops, you're going to watch miners coming off of that and they're going to go after the coins that the, the, the coin to, uh, that they're mining is actually worth more and they think they can get more because Again, what to mine says to mine it. Um, I don't look at it that way, but that's just how I look at it. Um, you come down on here a little bit and you're going to see coins that are technically not as profitable. But if you believe in some of these coins, um, especially like Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. Um, I mean, if you're a nice hash miner, uh, you know, you could be mining on nice hash and pulling in profit from there. Uh, Monero, the network difficulty has been coming down. Even though the coin's worth less, you're going to be able to mine more coins as more miners turn their rigs off of that or just turn their rigs off in general. So don't necessarily look at what to mine as your go-to. This is what's profitable. Come on, everybody, let's jump in because everybody else is doing the same thing. So my advice to everybody that's mining through these downtimes is to make sure that the, the company that you're mining for or the coin that you're mining is a has sound purpose. Um, is going they, they're actually still putting in work even though it's a down market. Uh, there is a lot of coins out there that the companies are still moving forward. They're still producing. You can find them on GitHub and you can see that they're adding in uh, new stuff into their algorithms and stuff like that. These are companies that are putting in the grind. The companies that are putting in the grind are more than likely going to survive through a downtime. It's not an 100%, you know, everything's gonna survive as long as they're working hard. That's not necessarily true. But if you believe in, the co in that coin, you believe what they have to stand for, and you see that the network difficulty is dropping on it, it might be worth mining it because when the market comes back, you're gonna be in better profitability, you're gonna be in better shape than sitting a lot of these other people who are mining for profitability right now. And when the market comes back, they're gonna watch those same coins that they've been mining this whole time take a dump. And uh, I mean, again, this is just my opinion. I'm, you know, it's like I've been mining Ethereum Classic um, I've done some Monero, um, you know, it's like I'll do some, you know, I'll check out Ravencoin a little bit just because I've been wanting to try it. Uh, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to leave my rigs on there. It doesn't mean that that's the most profitable thing for me in any way, shape or form. Um, I might have some NVIDIAs, uh, which they would do, they would perform very nicely on it. But if I can get more coins off of another algorithm, and I know that that algorithm isn't going to go away, or I say that coin's not going to go away, then I'm more than likely going to mine that one. Um, I mean, heck, Ethereum Classic, since the network difficulty's been going down, um, you're able to actually mine a little bit more with your hash rate. Uh, so same thing with Ethereum and a lot of others. So don't limit yourself to the what is this one two three four five six seven the seven coins on that are on the top of what to mine um these aren't written in stone as being the most profitable in the long run i mean for me bitcoin diamond bitcoin gold bitcore they have absolutely no use case to me i do not believe in the projects nor will i mine them 
Um, I believe that they're, well, shit coins in my opinion. But again, that's my opinion. Um, but you guys tell me, what, mo what coins are you actually interested in mining? Or what are you currently mining? Let me know. Drop a comment in down below. And, um, you know, it's like, while you're down there, smash that like, that lizardy like button. Hit the subscribe and the bell notification. And uh, don't forget to drop comments in down below. I do respond to you guys. Um, so if you guys got any questions or just let me know what you're mining uh, in the bottom of this one, shoot away. And uh, with that one, guys, I will, of course, see you on the next one.